dear panelists here on the high table, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to all of you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Ah, very good. Yes, uh, I would like to warmly welcome all of you to Geneva to participate in the global dialogue on artificial intelligence, internet of things, and cyber security. This is one of the thematic of the 2018 edition of the Global Symposium for Regulators. The thematic events of the GSR are designed to ensure that key emerging issues are addressed in the holistic manner in the way we can deepen our understanding of those issues, have an open conversation about them, and make sure that we are equipped, all of us, policymakers, regulators, or private sector, um, development, software developers, and all those, make sure that we are all well equipped to deal with those, those, these emerging, uh, emerging technologies. Today, we will explore the, the, the policy and regulatory challenges and opportunities. I say challenges and opportunities, but I would like to put more emphasis on the opportunities of the artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and internet of things. The objective actually is to, re to raise our awareness and more importantly, to empower us to deal with those issues. You will, in such an interconnected world, a loophole in any part of the ICT global network will represent a danger for all the network. Then our strengths in terms particularly in cybersecurity will be always as a level of the weakest part of the network, global network. So we need to address those issues and cybersecurity will continue to be a big issue as we embark now in the artificial intelligence and internet of things. The issue of cybersecurity will go beyond just the hacking and breach of, of data. We need to take care of that. But the good news is that using Internet of Things and artificial intelligence, we can improve the security of the network. We can have a safer cyberspace using actually uh, artificial intelligence and Internet of Things. Actually, like in almost all the issues of ICTs, we are lucky in this sector that the solution is always embedded in the problem. So we can use artificial intelligence to face security, but also uh, artificial intelligence is a problem for the, for the cyber security. So I think that as we gather here, this morning, yourself, like myself, we are hearing a discourse now about the emerging technologies. But unfortunately, this, this, this discourse and all those conversations are built around the threats and the fears. So as ICT stakeholder, it is our responsibility to take into account all whatever you are hearing, all those threats and fear, and make sure that we deal with them. It is our responsibility. Otherwise, we leave too much room for, I would say, the bad news, whereas we have the very good news about the technology. Of course, data protection and privacy is another issue you have to take into account as we um, Internet of Things 
and artificial intelligence, we, we, we're going to have more data uh, flowing around, and particularly more private data flowing around. So, as we begin a qualitative transformation of our societies and our economies, all stakeholders of the ICT's ecosystem should work together to create the enabling environment for the future. It is our responsibility as an ICT ecosystem. When I say ICT ecosystem, I include all of you, private sector regulators, policymakers, academia, NGOs, we need to work together to create a common enabling environment for this future, the future of the digital economy. If you get it wrong in terms of policy, you have a problem. If you get it wrong in terms of regulation, you have a problem. If you get it wrong in terms of development, you have a problem. So I'm very happy that this kind of meeting is giving us an opportunity to discuss all those issues and to understand each other and to learn from each other because everybody has something to give here, also something to take. I'm sure, to be brief, I know we have a short day. I'm sure that with our collective wisdom, we can make sure that the emerging technologies will work in the safe, secured manner for sustainable development for all human beings, for all human beings. Thank you.